the state's chief lawyer is in even more legal trouble. Today, we're told things don't look good for the state's AG, and a federal civil action filed Monday could lead to even more criminal charges. Our Rachel Glaser in Austin with this story tonight. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is on the wrong side of the law again. No, it does not look good. Buck Wood has spent the last 45 years defending clients charged with fraud. But the veteran attorney doesn't like to take a case he doesn't think he can win. I would not want to be defending Paxton in a federal case. If found guilty, Paxton will be forced to repay the money he raised, more than $800,000. Overall, the complaint says the North Texas company collected $26 million in four years. It, it was just a complete and total lie. That they were just lying to the investors. Filed by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the complaint alleges Paxton convinced, even pressured, investors to back a tech company. And all the while, the SEC says Paxton never Never informed the investors he was getting a cut of the money in commission. You would not normally want your state's chief lawyer being guilty of fraud. There are laws that criminalize the behavior alleged in the federal complaint. Wood says the SEC normally files civil charges before criminal ones. That's purely up to the U.S. attorney. The state's AG is already under indictment for criminal charges in the state's district court. He pleaded not guilty this summer and that case is still pending. Let's put it this way. The feds do a good job of prosecuting cases. Rachel Glazer, Local 2 News. What well, says some of the tactics used by Paxton's defense team in the state district court case won't work because the feds operate under a different statute. Basically, Paxton can't use campaign funds to pay for legal fees at a federal level.